Let's take a look at adding and subtracting fractions and mixed numbers. The key to this is to find a common denominator. That's our first step. So as we look at this first problem, we've got 9 and 27 in the denominator right now. What I like to do is if take the smaller number and see if I can make it into the larger one. So can I make 9 into 27 by multiplying? Sure, if I can multiply by 3. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll take 9 times 3 and 7 times 3. Then we'll rewrite this. 7 times 3 is 21. 9 times 3 is 27 plus 2 over 27. Now, once we have the common denominator, we just go ahead and add right across the top. Our denominator is whatever it is, though. We're not going to add that. We have 27 on the bottom. 21 plus 2 is 23. We can't simplify that because 23 is prime, so we're done. Let's take a look at this next one. We have mixed numbers in this problem, and our first step here is going to be to get rid of those mixed numbers. Let's convert them into improper fractions, and then we'll work from there. So to convert a mixed number into an improper fraction, we take the bottom number, we start there, then we multiply by the whole number, and we add the top, the numerator. So 8 times 3 is 24, plus 1 is 25. The denominator stays the same, over 8, plus 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8 over 3. Now we want to find a common denominator. I can't make 3 into 8, so my second choice in terms of easy common denominators is just multiply the two together. 8 times 3. 8 times 3 is 24, so my common denominator is going to be 24. I can make both 8 and 3 into 24 by multiplying by something. We can multiply 8 by 3 and 25 by 3. Then on the other side we have, well, let's do this first. 8 times 3 is 24. 25 times 3 is 75. Then we have, on this side, we have to multiply 3 by 8 to get 24. So we multiply by 8 on top as well. 8 times 8 is 64. Then we will go ahead and add across the top because we have our common denominator of 24. So 75 plus 64. Let's grab the handy dandy calculator. 75 plus 64 is 139. Oops. So we have 139. Then let's go ahead and convert that into a mixed number. So how many 24's can we get out of 139? Well let's take our calculator and take 139 and divide it by 24. The number we're interested in here is the whole number, 5. That's how many 24's we can get out of 139, 5, so that'll be our whole number. Then the denominator is going to stay the same, and if we take 5 24's out of 139, how much do we have left? That's what's going to go on top. We need to figure that out, we take 5 times 24, which gives us 120. So we're taking 120 away from 139, how much do we have left? 19. Then we look at this, can we simplify? Well, 19 is prime and it doesn't go into 24, so we're done. All right, now subtraction, same deal. We need to find a common denominator, and this time we're just going to be subtracting across the top. So, let's start here. Um, can we make 10 into 25? No. Multiplying them together, we could to get 250, but I also know that 25 times 2 is 50, and I can make 10 into 50 by multiplying it by 5. So let's do that. 10 times 5 and 7 times 5. And then we're going to take 25 times 2 and 9 times 2. Our denominator is going to be 50 on both sides. 10 times 5 is 50. 7 times 5 is 35. Then we have 25 times 2, which is 50 and 9 times 2. Then we have our common denominator of over 50. And we're just going to go ahead and subtract right across. 
18, or 35 minus 18 gives us 17. 17 over 50. Well, I happen to know that 17 times 3 is 51, so I know that 17 won't go into 50, and 17's prime, so there's our answer. Let's take a look at this last one. Here we have some mixed numbers again, so our first step is going to be to convert them into improper fractions. Start on the bottom. 5 times 5 is 25, plus 2 is 27, over 5, minus... 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1, 7, over 2. Then, we need to get that common denominator. I can't make 2 into 5, but I do know that 5 times 2 is 10. So let's make them both into 10. So, we're going to go over 10, over 10. 5 times 2 is 10. Multiply that. Then this side, we need to multiply 2 by 5 to get 10. So we multiply by 5 on the top and bottom. Then we have 27 times 2, which is 54. 5 times 2 is 10. That's our bottom number. 2 times 5 is 10. And 75, or excuse me, 7 times 5 is 35. Then we're going to go ahead and subtract that straight across. 54 minus 35 is 19 over 10. Now we want to change that back into a mixed number. How many tens can I get out of 19? Well, 20 is two tens. We got a little bit less than that, so it's just one ten we can get out of there. If I take 10 away from 19, I have nine left. That's my top number over 10. Can't simplify, so there's my answer. Adding and subtracting fractions and mixed numbers, the key is to get a common denominator. That's what we did. Every single problem got a common denominator. Remember, you multiply by the same thing, top and bottom, to get that common denominator and get both fractions with the same denominator. And then just go ahead and add or subtract across the top and make sure you simplify.